we'll go into messaging and I like the messaging interface you know I think that's a pretty cool animation that it uses and then the keyboard you can see here it's HTC's keyboard and um, I think it worked great it has autocorrect and so you can pretty much just type um, and the screen is so big I could use it two-handedly which is uh, which is pretty cool and then it also comes with swipe so you can use that and um, I'll show you both of them how well they work we'll just do a sentence here quick oops I did that a lot too I accidentally pushed the keyboard button instead of the space but that's mostly my fault, not the phone's fault. Found Fox jumped over the lazy duck. So, not too bad. Uh, messed up on Fox and three lazy dig. But, um, you know, I found with virtual keyboards there are going to be some mistakes no matter no matter how good it is, but but these did perform really well. Um, I had a couple more errors than I usually get, um, mostly because I'm kind of doing it at a weird angle because the tripod's in my way. But then we'll go back to the um, normal keyboard and do the same sentence. So, see, that was pretty good, too. The only thing I messed up on was dog. I did did. So, I, I like the keyboard. Then you can also use it in portrait mode. Um, for me, in portrait mode, my hands are just a little bit too small to use it this way. I kind of have to stretch a little bit more. Um, also, because it has these um, the navigational arrows right there. So, uh, now we'll move on to the camera. Like I said, it has a 5 megapixel camera with a dual LED flash and also records video, has autofocus. We'll go to some of the pictures I took. I took a couple of test pictures. Um, these we'll get into in just a minute. Um, these have to do with the flash. But um, here's some normal pictures. You can tap on it to show it full screen. And then I took some pictures outside of some flowers. The quality is pretty good. You can see this up close. The detail is really good. Um, nice, nice and bright. Very clear. Again, the screen just looks great. And of course, you've got the multi-touch. And um, it just works really great some more pictures of a tree. Um, now back to these pictures in the beginning. Um, this is when I was testing the flash and uh, like I said it has a dual LED flash. Now I just I had some problems the flash kind of made it really yellow. You can see I was taking this picture um, it was in the dark I had the lights off and it it made it really yellow. Um, and then I thought, well, maybe I'm just too close to the object. So I, I got a little farther away, and it was still, the flash just made it really yellow again. So um, that's again even farther away, and I had the same problem. So now this is a picture that I took um, with the lights on. I had the blinds open, so the sun was shining on it. Um, you, you can see it's, it's a normal picture. Then when I turn the lights off, um, you know, it's just, there's this yellowish, greenish tint to it, and it did that on every picture that I took with a flash. Um, you know, you'd expect it to be bright, obviously, and, you know, maybe add a little, a little white. Um, you know, that would be kind of expected, but just the yellow, um, that's not cool. I don't think I could live with that. So now, um, like I said earlier, it has social integration, uh, social networking integration. This is um, HTC's Peep Twitter client, and um, you know it works really well. You know you can select a tweet, and then you can either choose to um, reply, send a direct message, retweet, and then you can just directly select the link from that tweet. So uh, it makes it pretty easy, and then it takes you to um, Opera Mobile. While we're here um, on, in the in the web browser, I'll talk about it a little bit. Um, you know it's great. I, I think it worked re really well. It has Wi-Fi. Um, but even just using it on a 3G network, the speeds were, were pretty good. We'll go back here to Phone Dog, and um, you can see it load up. And uh, of course, I've already loaded Phone Dog a couple times a day, so it's it's pretty fast. But even then, you know, it's not too bad. And then you can put it in landscape mode. Use pinch to zoom. Select a link. And um, this is Opera Mobile, so you get all the, you know, if you're a fan of Opera, which, which I am, I think it works great. Um, you know, you get all, you can have the shortcuts, the favorites, um, you know, multiple tabs. Um, and, uh, you know, I think it works great. I, I like Opera Mobile. And then if you go to 
the web browsing tab itself, you can have favorites here. Um, so you can add your favorite websites and all you have to do is select them. The phone also comes with Internet Explorer, but um, I'm going to bet that most of you are going to use Opera Mobile. So next, uh, the music player. Now I will say I had a terrible time trying to sync my music from my, um, from my computer to the phone. It was, it was horrible. I mean, it took me forever. It didn't work the way that it was supposed to work. Whenever you, um, you know, hook up the phone with it with a USB cable, it automatically pops up to install this program um, that will allow you to sync. And I installed the program, and then um, it told me to install the program again. And I was like, I already have that program installed. So I was like, whatever. So I went to install it again. And then it said, you already have this program. And I'm like, I know that. I already installed it. So they're like, what, you have to uninstall it before you can reinstall it. And I'm like, why should I have to reinstall, uninstall? Anyway, basically it was a pain. I finally got the music on here, got my playlist and all that, but it really was a pain. And, um, and I didn't like that. Again, that's one of the things that really bugged me, but once I got the music on there, um, it works great. So anyway, there it is, guys, the HTC HT2. Um, my bottom line opinion of this phone after using it and reviewing it is that it has a lot of potential to be an amazing phone, but it falls short. It's not an amazing phone because it freezes up all the time. Um, it just it doesn't function in, in certain areas that it should function well, whether, whether it be the, um, the mail or just, you know, freezing up whenever switching between certain tabs or programs. Um, you know, I just, I had so many problems with it, the camera, the flash, you know, washing out pictures. I just, I had so many problems with it, with the music player that I just, it's not my favorite phone and I didn't really like using it, um, but that's me. And, uh, you know, you guys can, can make your own decision. But anyway, there it is, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Be sure and check out PhoneDog.com for all other updates, news, and reviews, and all, uh, also our other sites, you know, today's iPhone.com. And um, as far as I know, Noah is still giving away stuff for getting, you know, over 10,000 followers. So be sure and, and go there to get more details on. You can follow him on Twitter, follow the whole team on Twitter. Twitter. But anyway, I'm Sydney, and I'll see you guys later. Huh? <laughs>